Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? And today we have scorpion babies. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. We have scorpion babies. And for those who are wondering, this species is known as the Hotentota Hotentota. That's a... <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a very funny scientific name, but uh, yeah, that's the scorpion species. And for those who don't know, this species actually has something called parthenogenesis. So it's essentially the process of giving birth without having to be either bred or mated. So essentially, they give birth without having to mate at all. So I did not breed this scorpion at all, she just gave birth. So essentially, you can get free babies if you have this species. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've actually, I still have that video on this channel where I'm actually feeding this mom when she was a little baby, just like the ones you're seeing in this video. I'll leave it in the top right, so go check it out. And I'm surprised, honestly, because uh, this came earlier than I expected. So let us separate these babies and uh, allow me to explain it to you guys. Okay, the first question, how can she have babies if she's never mated? So essentially, all of the offspring that you're seeing in this video, all of these babies and the ones she gave birth to, they're essentially clones of her. So essentially, the mom was a clone of her mom, was a clone of her mom. And uh, that sounds kind of scary and kind of confusing, but essentially, all of these babies you're seeing are basically clones of her mom. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty unique. So, in the future, all of these babies here will actually give birth as well, once they become of age. So, it took about two years, about two and a half, maybe three years to grow these out from a baby to an adult, based on the ones I've kept. And I currently only have two left, because uh, some of these didn't do too well and they passed on when they were very young. And the rest, I've really just given them away to, you know, other people who wanted them. Because I, uh... Let's be honest, if you have a female that's giving birth constantly, without having to be bred at all, it's kind of uh, a lot to take in. Even though she's an adult, she still has a lot to grow in for this adult female here. i say she's about almost 2 inches in terms of uh, length. And the last female I had, or her mom basically, she had it, I think 3 to 4 clutches of baby scorpions. In which the mom you're seeing in this video was you know within that batch so <laughs> i think that's a total of like 40 maybe 40 to 60 baby scorpions and <laughs> trust me i am not a scorpion expert even though i do keep scorpions i specialize in tarantulas and spiders in general well technically scorpions are considered arachnids but i specialize in tarantulas more so than scorpions so typically, I usually just give these away to people who are scorpion keepers or people who are responsible and know that if they get a baby of this scorpion and they grow it out, it's going to have babies regardless of if it's mated or not. Now, this scorpion does have somewhat of mild venom. I say on a scale of 1 through 5, this is probably around a 3 in terms of the venom level. Now, they don't grow too big at all. They grow about 2 inches. Like, that's the biggest they get. So they're relatively small. Now, they're actually quite common whenever they come around because they do get, well, I'm not a big fan of wild-caught imports, but wild-caught imports do come in for this uh, scorpion species once every now and then. So people don't usually keep the scorpion species as pets because uh, they're small, they don't grow as big, and their venom is kind of mild, which is not really good for beginners, even though it's a 3 out of 5, which most people will put it as in terms of scorpion levels and venom and whatnot but i guess the upside to this species is that you get free babies if you can actually you know figure it out how to keep them i figured that the brood and the clutches of babies when their mom gives birth is better if you keep them on the warmer side specifically around maybe 77 degrees fahrenheit at lowest but you want to keep this species relatively warm and if you do, they do pretty well. Now, I find that scorpions are actually very hard to feed because you kind of had to feed them very small prey or pre-killed prey. And some of them eat better than others, which was something I noticed when uh, my other female had a clutch way back when, which this mom you're seeing in this video was one of those babies, by the way. But they're not too hard to keep, actually. Very, <laughs> as a matter of fact... Since they're so small, they don't really need much space at all. I mean, you can see in this video, the mom is being kept in a 36 ounce container and she actually eats and does pretty well. As a matter of fact, I say she's thriving. 
Oh, that's funny. But uh, back to the babies though, you kind of have to separate these babies once they go their own ways. So when baby scorpions are born, they will actually ride on top of their mother's back. And you'll know when they're ready to be separated once they actually molt out and then they start actually going their own ways. So the moment they actually leave the mother's back and they start exploring and going on their own, that's when you know they're ready to separate, which is why I'm separating them in this video here. And you don't want to keep them with a the mom or communally too long because they'll start cannibalizing one another. So honestly, this is the best move I can make. But alrighty guys, so I'm guessing that's really about it for the scorpion commentary as of now. Now in terms of tarantulas, I do have some breeding projects I got set up this year. So one thing I decided I will decide to breed now is my green bottle blue females. Now I do have three females and one freshly good male. So I'm actually going to attempt to breed my male with two of my adult females. So wish me luck and uh, I'm going to have to sit for it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait it out a very long time because for those who don't know, I actually tried to attempt to breed green bottle blues and I've sat there for hours and nothing happened. So I'm prepared to take some time off to sit for hours again to see and hope that something works out. So everybody... Wish me luck and I'm going to breed or attempt to breed the green bottle blue tarantula. So stay tuned for next week if it does happen, which I'm 99% certain it will because this time I've come prepared. Also everybody, one set of bad news. So my Kilobrachys species electric blue actually molted out. So essentially that means no babies. Now I did breed this female and I do have a video of it on the channel. But she molted out, so there's no more babies, guys. So I'm going to have to look for another male and try again and hope that this time or the next time around, whenever I get the chance to actually try and breed the Kilobrachy species electric blue again, I'm going to try my best and hope that it works out the next time around. So wish me luck on that as well. And I do have more plans or more side projects for breeding tarantulas this year, but those side projects are more of maybe, if not a possibility so every other side project i have it's a maybe i won't tell you what they are because i don't want to make promises i can't keep but uh let us see what happens and let us hope this year is a good year now i want to give a quick shout out to all of you guys for watching my videos and i do upload every single friday i wonder why people keep asking me about when i upload i upload on fridays everybody and uh i truly want to thank my fan base for supporting you know my videos and whatnot and i love it when people say i'm underrated because that that makes me feel a bit more validated in this tarantula you know community in general so i truly want to thank everybody and i hope that one day my dreams do actually come true to where i actually have a breeding facility of some kind or a small place i can rent out for tarantula breedings and whatnot it'll be so nice to produce tarantulas for everybody including you viewers and yeah, this is my Kilobrachy species electric blue, and as you can see, she molted out. But uh, back to what I was saying, I truly want to thank everybody for supporting me on this journey. And I know that this occupation that I do here is not really a lucrative one, meaning I don't really make much money at all. But I love this passion so much to where when I get a new view, like, or when people leave comments down below, it truly means the world to me, so... I truly want to thank everybody and I will do something about the Patreon as well. Maybe I'll post a full unedited, you know, scorpion separation video on the Patreon. Who knows, right? But uh, something along the lines of that. But without further ado, everyone, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. And if you enjoy my content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and stay updated to whenever I upload here on the channel. So hit the bell icon. And also, I upload every single Friday. So stay tuned for Fridays to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves. Also, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, support the Patreon as well. But I haven't decided what I'll post on there yet. Most likely the unedited versions or the unedited videos. And with that, stay lax and laxo out. From the Kumo Sensei.